So before I start this video, this is not a hateful video in any way. I do actually really like Quinn Byfield, but if I were to see one guy that could be a bust, it would be Quinn Byfield. Now let's get into why. But before we do, uh, I've noticed a lot of you guys aren't subscribed that watch my videos. So um, it's completely free. Just hit that subscribe button if you enjoy what you see here, and you'll be able to find my channel anytime in your subscription page. But yeah, so Quentin Byfield is a very, very good player with a very, very high potential, but I could see him not reaching that potential. I just, uh, he's more of a gentle giant than anything. He just doesn't use his size, which I feel his size and his strength and all of that is his best tool. That's the best thing that you could have in like nowadays that and speed if you have that combo which he does you can easily be one of the top players in this league but I just don't see him becoming one of those best players I mean he could he could live up to his Evgeny Malkin comparison um, expectation but I, I don't see him doing it. I, if there's one player in this draft that's going to be a bust, I think it's him. Honestly, I just I just don't see the hype. Um, I just see him as another prospect. I feel like he's a big boom-bust pick. I feel if you pick him, it's a very, very risky pick. If you go with Lafreniere or Stutzel... Maybe even Holtz, you got a better chance of getting that top line talent. But I could see him not living up to the hype and maybe becoming like a fourth line player, third line player, where he would need to turn into a Jake for Tannen and start using his size a bit more and become that third line checking forward. But really. If he does live up to the potential, this video will just sound s so stupid in the future, but I really could see him just being a draft bust. I don't know what it is. I just don't really see him as one of the top players in this draft. That's why you have seen him rated three, mostly three in my mock drafts. Like, the more I learn about these prospects, the more I rate guys higher. Honestly, I could see... If I if I, if the picks were up to me, I'd honestly... Like, if they were 100% up to me, and I were to rate the prospects based on skill, size, just their hockey... Like, just hockey alone. Not like where I think they would go in the draft... I might have Byfield at 10 to 12 because really he is a big boom bust pick in my eyes. I I just see it as a very big risk to take this guy, especially at 2. Like if you're going to take him at 12, at least if he doesn't work out, you don't look a little bit stupid. Like as Neil Yakupov, some people might consider that. A stupid move to pick him number one considering on how it turned out it didn't look stupid at the time but now they look stupid for picking him there and what happened in his career and he didn't really turn into much so yeah I feel like he's a big boom bust pick if he works out he that's great for whatever team picks him and him but if he doesn't work out I see him staying in the NHL. Like, I, no matter what, I see him an NHL player. But it's just, I could see him being a Jake Vertanen type, where he's just a big guy that can hit on the third and fourth line. But if he does live up to that of getting Malkin potential, I feel he will be a very, very valuable piece to any team. Really, a guy, a guy that's six foot four and can skate, and is a for, first line talent, that is very valuable for any team. But yeah, this is about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more. I'll have clickable things if you're on computer. And yeah, uh, alright, see ya.